Are you wanting to learn more about how to ride motorcycles? This video is the first in a multi-part series explaining on how to do that. We're going to go over the very beginning things before you actually get started riding in this video and it starts right now. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this channel we try to go over things such as gear reviews, motorcycle reviews, and really all sorts of motorcycle related content. So if you like that kind of thing, please feel free to subscribe and stay a while. My guys kind of coming out of nowhere there. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do before you start riding a motorcycle? Some of these things you may try to skip over because you're like, ah, I just want to get out there and have fun. I understand. I've been there. I know what you're saying. But please, please, please look over some of these things before you decide to get out on the street. So the first thing I would say is some things that most of you have already done. And that is learn how to ride a pedal bicycle. Now, if you've already done that and you're like, yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> I know how to do that. I've been riding it since I was 13 and I'm 30 now. Well, that's great. But maybe how long has it been since you've ridden a pedal bike? Maybe it's been 15 years. I would suggest getting out there and getting really familiar with the balancing aspect, you know, getting up to speed and everything, and really get yourself familiar with that. Secondly, I would say if you feel pretty competent on a pedal bike and you're like, yeah, whatever, that's child stuff, past that, <laughs> then I would say try to get your hands on something smaller displacement and it doesn't have a shifting uh, gear system, doesn't have a transmission that you're having to handle yourself, something automatic. And many times that would be things like a scooter. Um, if you are trying to learn how to ride a motorcycle and you're having to deal with learning how to shift gears, uh, even if you have the experience in a car, it is different on a motorcycle um, as to, you know, you're not just using your foot, you're using your, your left hand for your clutch. And so it's really nice to get those things just kind of out of the way and let you practice it. I would definitely suggest going to some sort of empty parking lot. If you got a friend to let you borrow one, maybe a dirt bike or something else, and just go out there and practice. Spend some hours on it. Go over and over. Even once you're feeling comfortable, you want to feel like it's second nature and you're excited about it. You're, you're ready to go start riding your motorcycle. So let that enthusiasm fuel the practice sessions, have some fun, enjoy that process. After that, you're probably thinking, well, what kind of motorcycle do I need to get? Well, I do have a video uh, that goes over more in depth on whether or not Harley Davidsons are good for beginners. And in that video, I go over some different suggestions, not only Harley Davidsons, but other motorcycles uh, that you could possibly choose. But I'll touch on it a little bit here in this video as well. And so, the thing you're looking for is a smaller displacement. You know, the, the easier side of things, again, would be something without a clutch. One of my first motorcycles was the, uh, I believe it's the Piaggio MP3 500. Now it's a 500cc motorcycle, which isn't a ton, especially for uh, the way that that one's geared and all, but it, it, it goes fine. Like you can ride that thing on the highway, uh, you know, I, it, it'll go easily 90, 100 miles an hour. You're not going to get much past that. But if you're learning how to ride a motorcycle, and even if you already know how to ride a motorcycle, you really don't need to be going faster than that anyway. So that's a really cool bike. The thing I like about that bike is it doesn't look so stinking dorky like some of the, uh, you know, scooters out there. No offense to the scooter riders. Love you guys too. You're on two wheels. I can get 70 miles to the gallon on this hog. Right on, man. But um, this thing looks like it's something that Batman would ride. So I'll, I'll try to show a picture here so you can kind of get a feel for what that is. That is one item that I would suggest. The uh, Sportster line from Harley Davidson is good choices. Honda Shadow is a good choice. Those are some basic ones that I'll mention. Check out the video though if you want to know some more details on getting a beginner bike. The next thing that I would recommend getting is get you some good motorcycle gear. Now, I'm not suggesting or even recommending that you go out and get a bunch of expensive motorcycle gear. Price doesn't always necessarily mean safety. I myself, if you notice some of the reviews of the gear that I put on the channel, is a little bit more expensive gear, but 
I'll, I'll just say that has been gifted to me by a couple of awesome parents, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to mom and dad. You know, in their efforts to keep me safe out motorcycle riding, they have gifted me some really nice gear, and I would not have that kind of gear unless that was uh, given to me. So I really do appreciate that. But what you do need to get for your gear, whether it be expensive or not, is the basics. And what are the basics? Let's go over that real quick. First thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have a helmet. I'm telling you, even if you live in a state that allows you for some reason to ride without a helmet, you want one. And it's not even just for safety. It's honestly more preferable in my opinion. I mean, especially if you're riding without a windshield, I, don't, I just don't even know how you would do that. <laughs> even with the best pair of uh, motorcycle uh, glasses, you're gonna get all sorts of bugs and stuff hitting your face. It's not gonna be cool. I would suggest getting a full face helmet, that's definitely the safest option, and make sure of course that it's DOT certified, all that jazz, which I don't know if they even sell motorcycle helmets that are not nowadays, but as long as you get a good motorcycle helmet, it's DOT certified, uh, you should be good to go. Second thing to get is boots. You want good boots. Now why do you want good boots? Well, especially when you're learning to ride you have a much higher chance of turning your motorcycle over and a lot of the time the kind of accidents you may get in as a beginner are not necessarily going to even involve other motor or other motor vehicles they could just be simply the fact that you drop your motorcycle you're maybe trying to do a more advanced maneuver such as a u-turn or something like that and you drop the bike on your leg now if you got those good boots on you're going to save your ankles so I definitely recommend a good pair of boots. It's also gonna give you more confidence when you're riding. You're not gonna be worried about that. You're not gonna be accidentally burning your ankle or something on the exhaust. It just makes sense. And you can get a good pair of boots, used boots, you know, for, for a really reasonable price. So something that goes up past the top of your ankle, definitely recommend. Another thing that you need to get is a good jacket. Leather is good, but also a lot of synthetic alternatives out there are actually just as good or even better so something that has good abrasion resistance if you can get something with a type of uh, armor padding that's good too but you know again uh, prices often dictate what you can get just get you a good solid jacket that is not gonna you don't want to be riding around bare sleeved it also again is going to make it more comfortable because that wind going up against your skin when you're riding at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour is not comfortable. I've ridden out in 100 degree weather without a motorcycle jacket before and regretted it. It's even more comfortable in the, the hot times uh, when you're going at decent speed to have that jacket on. So for protection and for comfort, get you a good motorcycle jacket. Lastly, I would say to make sure you get a good pair of gloves. Again, this is mainly safety if you go down but it's also a good protection for those, again, those small types of accidents that you might have when learning. Also grabbing something hot accidentally because you're not used to where things are at first. It, it's all, all part of the, the system. Get you something that has some sort of protection for your fingers, some extra protection other than just being a glove. Like you can see here, I've got protection on my knuckles and the tops of my fingers. I've got extra abrasion for my palm. So things like that, look for that when you're buying your gloves. Other than that, I'd say you're probably good. You can get motorcycle pants and that can be helpful. In fact, I just ordered some myself and hopefully I'll have a review on the channel for those. They're actually jeans that have armor and waterproofing and all sorts of stuff. Really cool looking. I'm looking forward to seeing those. But those are probably the last thing on the list. If, if you can get the other things, those are the basics and then add on as you can that being said once you have your motorcycle gear make sure you get comfortable in it make sure you're used to it riding it out there in the parking lot or wherever you are testing and practicing and that will help you get used to riding with that equipment on now I've got to come over here to the AutoZone drop off some oil that I had left over from replacing the oil on my motorcycle, which I'm very glad I did, by the way. Check out that video if you're interested on how to do that. And uh, then I'm gonna go over a couple more tips.
All right, I got the battery dropped off, but they did not accept my oil. I don't know if they're allowed to not accept it. They said they're full, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try another place over here and we'll see if I can do that real quick. Excuse me, y'all take oil here, right? Cool. Oh shoot. Our thing hasn't been uh it hasn't been recovered, it won't be till Monday. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Full again. Let's try another place. Alright, and the search for the oil drop-off is complete. Thank you very much, Jiffy Loop. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get back to our discussion here about how to start riding a motorcycle. So there's two more things that I want to go over before you actually get out there on the road. And one of them is to go over the MSF safety training course. Now this is offered in many places throughout the US at least. If it's not offered in your area, then there's probably some other type of motorcycle safety training course that you can take. Whatever they have in your area, as long as it's a well-qualified place that a lot of people, you know, check around when in your community. I'm, I'm sure you probably know somebody who knows something about motorcycles within your community and check around with them if you don't have one of those but the MSF training course it's actually good for even for ones who've been riding for a while I've been considering taking another one in the future I think they have some intermediate courses or something along those lines that I wanted to take just a refresher on some things but they go over a lot of really useful information it's not like when you go out and do your driver's ed course when you're learning to drive where they're like okay 10 and 2 and slowly apply the brakes no <laughs> it's it's not it's not like that you're out there with real motorcycle riders that they're not the kind of people that want to stand around in a boring class they want to teach you some interesting information and so you can learn things like that you may not know how to teach yourself such as uh, one thing that I kind of go to often in explaining this is how to do a u-turn it seems like a very simple thing and something that is easy to do in a car but it takes a little bit of skill and a little bit of training in order to do correctly on a motorcycle where you're not going super wide and although that sounds like that would be a simple thing and maybe even something that you're not too worried about you're like eh I just won't do u-turns very often but if you ever get stuck out there where you need to do a u-turn and you can't or you try to you attempt to go ahead um, if you try to do that and then you get stuck out in the middle of a road or you go a little bit too far into the wrong lane that could be very dangerous so definitely suggest taking that uh, it'll improve things like on how to stop more quickly how to avoid obstacles in the road all sorts of different things and you're training in a safe environment with experienced people many times these people that are training this they're, they're not newbies off the street they're, they're many times veterans of motorcycle riding you can get all sorts of tips and tricks from those so definitely take your motorcycle safety course lastly I suggest doing what you're doing right now which is watching YouTube videos do your research on other how-to content and I'm not just talking about myself I do have videos that I'm gonna be coming out with in addition to this that really explain more in depth on the controls and and some more basic maneuvers maybe some more intermediate or advanced maneuvers but I really want you to go out there and look at other people's content blockhead is one that I like to watch and there's definitely some other people Dan Dan the fireman has a lot of good safety information for riding motorcycles but really delve into that you know again you've got that excitement about getting the new motorcycle use that enthusiasm to drive you to learn how to ride motorcycles better as you're doing that you're practicing on something simple like a pedal bike or a scooter or something like that you're going out you're taking your training course you got your gear and then you're watching those YouTube videos when you get out there on the real road with real drivers uh, and obstacles in your way this is going to make you a much safer rider and you're gonna be able to enjoy it more you're, you're not going to have to uh, be as uh, nervous uh, when you're starting out. You're going to 
just be able to be more relaxed and enjoy the fun so anyway I hope this content has been helpful for you if you are somewhat of an experienced rider yourself and you have some tips please leave them down in the comments below or maybe you're a brand new rider what kind of motorcycle are you looking at getting I want to see what kind of bikes out there you guys are interested in anyway that being said hope you enjoyed the content and we will catch you in the next one